So this is a family I have there right now. Clinging to photos is all Claudia Olivares has. Right now, images on her laptop are the only connection to her family in Santiago, Chile. I need to hear their voices. I need to hear their voices. Born in Chile, Claudia moved to Canada and settled in Medicine Hat at the age of 13. News of the rising death toll, devastation and looting in her country have shocked her to the core. And old photos of her and her sister in Chile do little to ease her pain. I talk to my family every day, to my mom, my sister, my dad. Every day I phone them. And it's been, what, three days now? And it's killing me. Medicine Hat's connection to Chile reaches farther than just families searching for loved ones amidst the chaos, as emergency equipment and training from right here is being put to work a world away. In 2008, a group of local firefighters traveled with thousands of dollars in search and rescue equipment to a small volunteer fire station in Santiago. We hope that we do make a difference and we want to continue to make a difference. While the area where local gear and most importantly training were aimed was not hit as hard as places like Concepcion, local officials say it is being put to work in saving lives and they still want to do more. Pablo and Patricia Reyes who are in Chile right now were with us in 2008. We're, we're waiting for them to uh, in terms of contact so we can see what their specific needs are. Back at Claudia's home, her thoughts are locked on her country. And as she rallies around what family are in Canada, her heart is with those in Chile. We talk, we, we hug sometimes, we cry. There's a lot of times that we cry about it. Because even though our family is not um, hurt or anything, but it's our country. Scott Cunningham, Chat News.